G'day guys, welcome to another video dedicated to the Starlet. Today we are trying to... No, what's that? Clay bar. Oh uh, yeah, stuff. today we're trying the clay bar. So we never done it. So if we can do it, you can definitely do it. Again, it's one of those tutorial for, for people that had never done it before. We just experimented with it. So hopefully we don't destroy the car, but then if we do, we'll... We'll we see. Make, we can't make it any worse. Yeah, it can go any worse, really. So you can see, like, this looks almost matte. And here I did a little bit, and yeah, it looks much better. So hopefully, we aim to get it all like this. But before we do that, there's a definitely some grime. Well, this is completely fucked, really. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, there's definitely a lot of grime on the body. Like, you can, I don't know if you can see here, but there's little marks, and you can actually, yeah, you yeah. can actually feel it. You're meant to put like a, they say put your hand in a plastic bag and slide it over the panel and you can feel like, but I can feel it even. Yeah, your skin, so. yeah it's pretty bad. So, um, we, yeah, we're just going to try to remove those, um, marks and just crap. And then we're going to just going to try to buff it and hopefully it come out nicely. So let's just give it another final look on, well, there's not too much light here. You can try to turn on the light, but it's not very powerful. But hopefully, particularly in the back of the car, we're going to be able to see a nice result and a nice difference. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to go with the flow and see how it goes. It shouldn't be too difficult. So, again, hopefully we don't destroy the car. But Because the way it works is it's, it's super sticky like it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing, we're just going to wear some gloves because obviously we don't want to get any crap on the clay bar. And also, hopefully, we don't drop it because otherwise, okay. well, it's done. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't think we can wear gloves. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're not going to wear gloves. Let's see if we can take it out. <laughs> Holy shit, this sticky is really sticky. <laughs> Goodness gracious, okay. No okay, gloves. so it's, hopefully it's not fucked. It looks like it's um, no. Oh yeah, it should be all right. So, okay, we're not gonna use gloves. We, we, I, I sprayed this, I'm just gonna do this area. Yeah, and then we can see if it makes any difference. So this is just a lubricant. Yeah. And just to make it smooth, and so it doesn't scratch the stuff chemical guys. And I got it from super cheap. And then we can just gonna try to pass it on. Okay, and can you feel the roughness? I can, I can hear it. Like I don't think I can really feel it because yeah, because it's very thick. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can definitely hear the yeah. roughness. It's also stone chips and stuff. Oh yeah, that we're hitting. It smells good at least. It smells amazing. It's got like cinnamon. Yeah. Or something in it. <laughs> I might just use it even without clay. <laughs> I might just use it in the house. I think um yeah, spray it on your food or something. <laughs> Uh, okay, we have to turn it over. What you should do. There's a, a few things yeah, in there. Yeah, it's starting to come out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Turn it over, I think. Yeah. And then just squeeze it. Yeah, and then like here, because I just exited that. Spray, uh, um, spray it further back so it's further back, yeah, and then it's wider. Yeah, Maybe yeah. we're wasting our time. Maybe there's just too much. Too fucked? In the. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it's gonna be what. It's what it is, what it is, and then, I mean, definitely cannot go worse than this, so. I think it just helps the polish and the buffing a little bit, mm. just removing a little bit of crap. Just again, it's a 24 years old paint. It's never been cleaned properly, so there's definitely a lot of chips and things I'm, like that. Right? I'm, yeah, I'm amazed that like the clear coat hasn't peeled. Yeah, it's amazing because yeah. if you look at other starlets, like the yeah. paint job is completely fucked. Yeah. Like, I think maybe it spent some of its life in the garage. Yeah, they were saying that the girl in the song to me said, was saying that the old owner always kept it in a garage, but then she ah, didn't. Ah, yeah, yeah. And she parked under a tree, so that's why the roof is so smashed. Yeah. So chipped. Okay, let's, let's 
uh, get a microfiber and wipe this here. Thing. Yeah, just to see where we are. All right, so we're just gonna get a microfiber and wipe it and see how it looks like. Oh, oh fuck, wow. this one has got. Oh, it's got some. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we can do it later, but I'm just gonna get a clean one. Also nice. Yeah. I say this thing smells amazing. Okay, so we still those wet spots from the car wash are still there. Still there. Oh, bloody walks. I can't believe it, but uh, yeah, I can't believe it either. Maybe um the buffing. Will yeah, take care I think of. the buff the buffing might take care of it. Okay, so the cool thing now is when we feel this. It should be like super smooth, <laughs> except yeah. these stone chips. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think it's, it's an improvement. Yeah, here is definitely worse. Yeah, you can feel like, even when there's no stone chips, you can feel like this. Yeah, this here is actually, yeah, yeah, okay. It made a little bit of difference, maybe not very visible, yeah. but. Yeah, I feel a little bit of roughness, and once you do a couple of um, passes, it's kind of fades, so yeah. it becomes smoother as you press yeah. it on. I like, I'm surprised that I didn't, I haven't done this before because it's, it's not that difficult. Yeah. Oh, well, here is very rough, but now it's becoming much smoother. But you can also see like it's becoming black, the, the thing, so it's definitely removing some crack. Yeah. To go to bed, still in good condition after all these years. Yeah, it's amazing. It's just plastic. Look, the advanced technique I still can't believe it, how it stuck to my glove like yeah. rubber. It wouldn't. Yeah, like rubber. I thought we I mean, would like do. Yeah. Um, I think this one is done. We might try to do the bumper. But the bumper is. It doesn't really look too much different, but it definitely feels much smoother. Yeah. Um, and you can possibly see those little marks. Yeah, you can see those little marks. They didn't come out with that. But now we're trying polishing this bar, which now has is supposedly doesn't have any impurities or things like that. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna try buff it and see if we can remove those marks and make it actually be more shiny. So I just put some of the uh, the buffing compound. We're just doing this one from super cheap. Yeah. Should I be all right. Yeah, now um, what I like to do is just sort of spread it over a small area like this. Yeah, then I use our expert polisher. Okay, this is a tutorial for noobs, so like me. I wouldn't say expert, but I have done this a couple well, of times. Oh, you've done it before. And, yeah. So that makes a whole lot of difference. Put it on sort of half speed. Yeah. Can already see the difference. Yeah, those, uh, those marks are definitely gone, and oh my god, look how much. Difference I, there is. I, I, I love, oh, this is a bit wet, but yeah, I love buffing paint. It's so rewarding. Oh my God, in particular in the shit paint like this. Yeah. Definitely. Look at the difference. I can see yeah. my reflection. See yeah. The, see the, the fluorescent light. This car has but, never been so clean. Like here, you can still see all those little marks, but then here where it's been buffed, it's completely gone. Oh shit. <laughs> that, that actually, <laughs> Remove the paint. So we burn through. That's all right. I think it's just because it's the old paint. No, no. So w this isn't good. This means that we went through the clear coat. Yeah. Like I even, even. I wasn't expecting to cut that aggressively. Like even I tried to do that side as well. Some came out as well, even with the. Oh coat. my gosh. Okay. So I don't know. Did finish with the fenders and the bonnet. Now we're going to just try the front bar, which is a little bit. I mean, fairly damaged, but still we're gonna do it. Um, so it's a bit tricky just because of all the holes and Most bands. of this, we're gonna have to buff it by hand. Yeah, I think so. And with the clay bar, we're gonna just clay bar the flat surfaces and try and keep um, out of here because there's lots of dirt and stuff. Yeah. So might get in the, the... Yeah. A bit of paint that came out, but also I tried to spray paint it a while ago, so there might be it. So we're just gonna bend it over. 
uh, iron piece. Ooh, that was close. So yeah, I don't expect huge improvements on the bumper, but it'll be shiny. Like yeah, a bit more. Yeah. So look how good it looks here now. I'm I think I, I'm not sure if I can show it with this light, but the the line here yeah. on how it looks now. Oh yeah, now you can see like <laughs> how like sort of rough is here and how shiny is yeah. here. It's crazy. With this light, how it's reflecting. If you stand here, you can see. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Right. This is a very good pad. Yeah. Three D. Extra cut. Oh. oh, nice. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. So we just want to give it a wash. Wow, that came up even nicer than the yeah. bottom. Yeah, it's crazy because there's less stone chips. Oh. I'm not sure if you can show the difference here with the light, but you can see like from, from here that we did here, it's, or even the door. There's so much difference, <laughs> so much brighter. It's crazy, it looks new. And then as long as you have the clear coat, um, you can you can just buff and polish it like this. Whereas I think with this, it doesn't have clear coat. It's just, it's just all in one uh, sort of paint, like single stage. So that's why we're getting all the color come off in the pad. Um, it's very shiny. I'm really surprised. Yeah, it's good paint. It's... Yeah, maybe someone will find it useful. I just wanted to show how much crap came out. Despite the fact that we washed the car before, there's a lot of crap that came out from just passing the clay bar on top. And we were saying we didn't really want to buff on this crap. So hopefully, and yeah, I think we're doing a pretty good job. So. It's definitely a good step to do it before a buff, particularly if your paint is crap like this. And yeah, look this how amazing it looks between the door and uh, the fenders. What, do people just buy them and turn them into race cars or something? Are they popular now? They are very rare because um, there was the Takara airbag recall. Uh, and just because the car is, it was worth like thousand bucks and to change the airbag is more than that. Yeah. They scrapped a lot of them. Oh, um, yeah. And then a lot of them are also in a shit condition. So they're becoming sort of rare, particularly in good condition. Mm. So it took me a long time to find one year. All right, we just finished the clay bar the whole car. Uh, the clay bar is still fine, but as you can see, we used most of the lubricant. So if you need to do a whole car, we probably need the whole bottle. If it's a big car, maybe even more than this. And then now we're just gonna proceed with the buffing. We are sort of halfway. The big part's gonna yeah. be probably the roof. And then the bumper, just because it's got a lot of bends and things. But we should be done in, uh, Another oh, hour. Another hour, yeah. yeah. It's going pretty well for now and it's definitely worthy already, you can see it. So I'm trying to do those parts by hand because it's very hard with the polisher. And so we're gonna do like the big surfaces with the polisher and try to do the best by hand. By hand, it still comes out nicely. Yeah. It just takes a little bit of effort and it's hard to make circles in those little spaces. So I might do a few passes and see how it turns out. But that's probably the best way. Otherwise, you know, white stain on the shorts. Yeah, you can look. Yeah, it's this is pretty. pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to be like, mm, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Even on the roof, like the difference between the buff parts and how it was before, it's crazy. <laughs> like it's amazing. It's a perfect, perfect reflection. Like yeah. very little orange peel. I can see like my see my fingers and everything. Again, we're finishing uh, the buffing, and you can see on the roof, it's all split. Particularly, we're getting a lot of red paint coming out in uh, mixing with the compound which is going on the trims and all the rubber so 
just important to remove this straight away so it doesn't dry and like this it's very you can see it's uh, it comes out comes off pretty easily just make sure that you check the windows or any sort of little spaces where it can get in yeah be like mr miyagi cobra kai <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Grand classic car or something, then yeah, we would we'd yeah. probably go ahead and polish the whole car again. You yeah, know, spend another three hours. Yeah, it's just taking a lot of time, more than we thought. So we, we changed the pad as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. So th there's the cutting one and then there's the polishing one. So the cutting one, you can't really tell by looking at it, but uh, the, the cutting one is more abrasive than the polishing one. And you can't really say. There's much of a difference. I mean, the compound is really what made the whole difference. Yeah. And this is more, I don't know, maybe if it was a new paint job, you might see a little bit more glowy and things like that. But yeah, it looks pretty shiny at the moment, if you see now. Um, for that so, last 2%, you know, like if yeah. you really want like a show car. Yeah, maybe you want a show car, but as far as we can see, like the compound is what makes the difference. So. If you have time um, and want to put the effort, you can do the whole polishing thing. I think we might just do it by hand. It's crazy! Look at the look at the bumper. It used to be fully matte. Mm. Now it's gloss. It's full yeah. gloss. Like you can, I can see my your reflection. Yeah. Now we're just gonna do a quick wax. Quick and wax, and then that's it. We got some. Uh, Still the same brand because I mean the compound worked amazingly, so we still got this one. Yeah. It was actually on sale, so mix the body panel and then wipe it off. Yeah. Repeat over the entire vehicle. Yeah. So just spray and, and we, we can't do a, a, a full wax yet, and we're gonna just do this as a temporary thing, just to protect from the water and the dust. Yeah, because we're going to leave the outside. Um, yeah. On Tuesday, while it get fixed, because the cluster is not fixed yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, overall, it's an amazing result. I can see from like how shiny it is. Too high, you know? It's like a... Yeah. <laughs> so, much, so much wheel gap. Look. Okay. Yeah. Bullshit. You can probably fit two. <laughs> it's like a Ferrari Rosso, right? Yeah, it's like a Ferrari. So, all right, we're done with the Ferrari, guys. Uh, Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you find it useful. Hit the like button and uh, follow the project of the Starlet. We'll see you next time.